the background gradient. Let's go ahead and open one up for that one here. So in the default tile set, we have a background gradient sky. Um, what this is basically, it's going to be an image that allows you to have a either a image showing. We'll go ahead and click on the select folder here. Be sure that your animation is still checked. Um, the gradient basically allows you to have a vertex color shading across, so you have a nice smooth gradient of color uh, no matter what screen size you have on it. And when, with it selected, I want to go to the background gradient, and then we'll go ahead and just say on the name, we'll say gradient sky, and we'll just say that's going to be a gradient sky color. All right, on general settings, same idea kind of applies as the other one does as well, is that we're going to have these invisible. We don't need the actual tile itself as part of the game. We just want what it's going to create for the background. Image offset, let's go ahead and set this back to negative 5 as well. The image will choose the thumbnail for the one it's going to show. Collider, we'll turn those off. So hopefully, even just doing a couple of these here, you kind of get the idea that you don't have to use all the properties. Um, though you can use all the properties, but you don't have to use them. Uh, the core pieces of each behavior is typically at the bottom of the list. And we're just kind of going through some of the top ones, and we drop down to the lower ones here. All right. So gradient settings, again, in editor game mode. The shader ID blend mode. Now, when I see these, you know, if I'm just using it the first time, no idea. It's just a number value here. Same thing for blend mode. In the build a game editor, you'll notice it comes up. It's going to be a name. And it's actually going to say what it does. You'll see a visual cue where you're actually seeing it uh, happen. That's going to be the part where you go back and forth between the two. That way, you know that shader ID number two is going to be the uh, uh, it will be the, the multiply blend effect, or it will be the uh, a certain type. Um, each one is going to come with a set of properties. So once you understand those, you'll be able to apply them. By default, though, the zeros will be fine. This will be the uh, single shader uh, with just a standard blend mode on it. Um, the camera ID, this is whenever you have, sometimes you'll have a tile similar to this one or the dynamic sky, which is actually can be used with multiple cameras. So a player could have this one and then a second player can have a different one. Um, so this is saying this one, what, what a camera will be shown in it. So if you had multiple cameras, you would want to be particular about which ID it is. Uh, for us though, default zero is fine. The gradient image, we'll choose the gradient sky. Now by default, the use tile image is turned off. We're just simply saying that we want to have uh, a color only. But if you have an image, for instance, like this one that you want to actually show when you drop it in, then you could enable this one. Offset and scale is that if you don't want it to be full screen, you actually just want it to be a part of the screen, then you can say and you can adjust those values uh, appropriately there. There are three different options. You'll notice there's an enable, and then there's enable ping pong, and then uh, offset and options through these. Each one of these is to say whether or not you can use the different options for uh, one, two, or three uh, for the um, uh, for the gradient pieces. This part makes a lot more sense when you're in build a game, and you can click it and actually see it happening. Um, the gradient colors down here, these are going to be the ones where you have it actually being used. So for instance, if I was going to do gradient color one, maybe we want to do a light blue or a purple. And then if it was animated, if you enabled it, you could actually say the time it takes to get go between this color to this color. And whether it was a ping pong, it bounced back and forth, or it was looping and it just simply went uh, from one to the other and started back over. We're going to do just the single to single here though. So we're going to say color two and we'll just say that color two is going to be more of a uh, orangish um, uh, soft 
orange tone. So this one set up. And you have two other color types in, in case the end user decides to use them. You may want to have those set just so that by default if they click them then they see something other than just white, uh, the white option on it. All right, but for our example, we're just saying that we have those two, and then we have the uh, zero option up here being used for the shader ID and the blend mode. All right, and again, those um, I would definitely encourage you to be sure that you've you've placed it in build a game, you've checked the settings, played around with them, watched the video on it, uh, so that you can understand when you get into here what the actual values. Um, should be once you've gone back and forth between them. Alright, so that, that by itself though will set up the gradient, allow you to drop it in the scene and see a gradient come up from it.